so check this out this is kind of my um, evergreen alternative to hostas these are uh, cast iron plants these ones are kind of plain ones they're just the regular old green variety these were used uh, as house plants I think even since Victorian times so they're really tough they don't really need a lot of light they can thrive in very dry soil um, so these are a really great plant for dry shade but they do have a lot of nice varieties now ones with white spots and white tips and yellow spots and yellow you know variegation slow growing but uh, kind of hosta like Apparently they do get flowers. I don't think that they're much to look at, but a uh, nice thick leathery plant. And uh, so this, see, these are some of the older leaves from when I bought it. They were in a greenhouse and I think they were getting hit by snails in there. Um, so I'm just kind of removing them, cutting off the dead as time goes on. All the, all the nice new lush green leaves are from since it's been here. So planted these last spring and, and I'd say more than half the leaves are new so it's, it's doing okay but you might want to try these really great for dry shade I think they're deer resistant too but uh, I would definitely recommend looking for some of the the nice um, colored varieties and there's another group of plants I think they're called Rhodia R-O-H-D-E-A that are quite similar to the cast iron plants and they come in a, a wide variety of uh, color options as well. I mean, mostly green, white, and yellow. There's no like pinks or anything like that, but I got these for, for a steal. So you'll, if you are in looking for cast iron plants, the one thing you, you'll find is they're quite pricey, I guess, just because of the slow grow rate. But uh, just adds a nice punch of green in a shady spot year round.